Hey everyone, you need duct tape boutique here. Sorry, it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, today I'm coming to show you how to make a large duct tape um, hair bow. The normal bows are small. This one is very large, as you can tell. It's about just about four inches width from side to side and about three inches. Um, the width is three inches, the length is about four inches. And I've never seen anybody make one like this. They're normally, you know, maybe three inches by an inch. So I thought you'd like to see how this is made. So keep watching. What you want to do is take your duct tape. Depends on the size you want to make. I made, um, to make one the same size as I've made, you're going to need two strips of your duct tape, and I'm using the leopard again, that are eight inches long. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The overlapping just slightly enough that it has a good tack, but not so much that it's um, too wide for a hairball. You peel it up. And take it. So this is your sheet. It should be roughly eight by three and a half inches. Eight inches by three and a half inches. And you take it and you fold it in half onto itself. As close as you can get it. Try and get it with no wrinkles as much as possible. Again, on this side and this side, you need to overlap it just a little bit if you don't have any adhesive. Because this is a hair bow, so you don't want any of your hair sticking. And I forgot to tell you, for this project, you're going to need a cutting mat or a ruler, duct tape, a ruler. If you're using the cutting mat, you'll need an exacto knife. If you're not, then you'll just need some scissors. And then what you do is, see, yeah, there's a little bit of adhesive here. You just need to trim the sides with your scissors so that, um, again, your hair won't stick to the bow. That's what I'm doing right now. Just trimming it off. The excess. Then what you want to do is just cut an, a regular strip and cut about a half of an inch off. And it really depends on your preference on if you like the center to be wider right here, or thinner. For this one, I I like to do just a little over half of an inch, like five-eighths. I like to play with it, too, because sometimes it looks nicer with them smaller. Sometimes it looks nicer with them larger. It also depends on the pattern you're using. That's my opinion. So, and there's different ways to make the bow into the shape of the bow. I do mine a little different, but you can do it where you um, do the accordion, where you go over, under, over, 
under and so forth and then your bow will be more like this but I do mine a little differently if you can see just by doing that little bit um, it's gonna look different than this one does what I do is I take the center and pinch it and move it up like that then just kind of bend it in, pinch, pull on each side, and keep going where you pinch, you push in with your left thumb if you're right handed, if not then you would push in with your right thumb, so I push in with my left thumb, knead it, and grab, and then pull each side, try and go a little further. This is all holding this down. So what you do is you push with your left thumb and your right thumb and you pull with your index finger and you kind of make a little pinch like a gather. And then you just grab it. And then, if you do it this way, it should look like this. Then what you do is just take your center strip. See, like this one. I think I need to take off just a hair to make it where I want it. So I'm taking off maybe an eighth of an inch. So it probably would have been about right at half of an inch. I can tell it, like I said, I play with the centers. Sometimes I think they're a better with a larger center, sometimes I think it looks better with a smaller. Just depends and how it turns out with the pattern. So here we go again. Try to pull it out. And you just kind of eyeball where the center is once you've made your gathers and your pinches. And just like you do with the regular bow. If you know how to make a duct tape or a little basic one, then you basically cut the gif. And you just try and make it as centered as possible. And just keep going around as much as you want. I like to make them kind of thick. Because this one is, isn't just a regular one strip of tape. It's got a a bit of a heaviness to it. And if it's too long, I like to keep my end in the back. And then just seal it up. And I like to give it a little squeeze sometimes in the center. And just See how you like it, play with it. And there you go. You have your very own large duct tape hair bow. If you like it, comment below and you can make more tutorials. Sorry, it's not the best quality right now. I'm still learning with this. Well, I hope you guys have a blessed day and enjoy if you make any. Um, tag me on Instagram at hashtag duct tape hair bow, unique duct tape boutique or UDTB. So hashtag large duct tape hair bow. And I'll see it. You also can follow me. I'll leave my links at the bottom. Have a blessed day. Bye.